Hi Virgos, thank you for tuning in. So I hope you guys are safe out there. I hope you guys are still healthy. Your loved ones are still safe and healthy. Um, at this moment in time, there's such a divided energy. Like it's like so the opposite, and they're both very strong. So I, on one side, we have people who maybe feel afraid, feel sick, feel like I said, afraid for the unknown, the uncertainty. It's like all things are like up in the air. Each and every day, things shift and change. And then we have the opposite of people coming together and feeling that sense of oneness and and the sense of that all of us is go are going through this. Then it's sort of connecting us spiritually in the, in a way as well. Um, so yes, there are there's a lot of beauty coming from this. Also, when it comes to our planet, you know, our home, planet Earth, the nature and um, you know the climate is really um, benefiting from this at the same time. Um, so there's many ways to look at it and you know it's both are okay it's not like we should all run from this energy and move here it's do that in your own time and some days might be better than others don't be too hard on yourself don't feel like um you feeling away or feeling afraid is like some way uh, you know a really bad thing and you shouldn't it's like it's okay if that energy passes it passes just work through it and try and find a connection back to like you know uh, feeling more peace feeling more um relaxed into the fa fact that things are slow moving right now and we have to just take it day by day and we will overcome this and we will be out of this and things will start to move and grow again yet right now we're it's just in a m more slower way so um yes i wish you guys more peace within that period basically within this period of time I do know that the moment you guys are starting to really surrender to the outcome and are more relaxed and laid back in that and taking your precautions and being okay with the situation as is right now in this moment, it would really help you on a personal level, but also on the bigger collectives, what I'm picking up on very strongly. So try and find something that enlightens that fire within you as well, Virgo. What is something you set for yourself during this period of time that you can grow in, that you can do, and you maybe wouldn't be able to do if you weren't in this situation, if we all weren't in this situation. So even if it's just one or two thing, things, some people like to start um, writing, some people like to start making more music or listening to more music or finally reading that book they wanted to read or read multiple books or... Uh, start a channel uh, reach out to people start a book club like anything you know or maybe a virtual one like in any way shape or form trying to find something that might give all of this a little bit more meaning to you on a personal level all right which we will talk about the bigger collective and then everything yes we have to keep our eyes out on people around us but there's also a lot to gain on on a more individual level and that's what this period of time is about even though it's about everybody's affected but it's all about our own individual side to it as well that's a big part of it all right i'm going to pick up a spirit message because that's something that i feel guided to do with these april readings there we go a father's love A father's love, Virgo. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often un undeniable. I'm going to put it like that, okay? Because that word is, 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 is a tongue twister, I'm just saying. In that, it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or has passed, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. One of the strongest bonds any of us will experience, Virgo. So, 444 is the moment I picked up this card, I was looking at it. So, if you, if you end up being in a situation where your father has passed or is sick 
know that that bond is undeniable and i know this message is not for all of you i don't want you guys to start jumping on it it's like oh my god like you know start to enhance that fear frequency but if there's something that is resonating with you at this moment in time you were meant to hear this message it's an undeniable connection it's something you can tap into still and you're still receiving that it's almost like a message coming through to you and it was 444 so watch out for the signs 444 because that's a message your father is with you at this time maybe your father has passed a long time ago and um you just feel the connection um stronger at this time or you're being able to because that person is with you at this moment in time it could also be a father figure it could also be a grandfather or just you know an uncle that felt like a father figure in your life so it doesn't necessarily have to be a biological father okay that's what's coming through for you virgo you might be able to enhance the connection between you and your father at this moment in time as well but it's a, the general reading so i don't want to go too deeply into that but know that your father is coming through at this moment in time Virgo okay all right let's start the tarot before I jump into the tarot I would like to give you guys a breathing exercises it's very short it's very quick but it's something that might help you to neutralize the frequency okay when you're feeling fearful okay so i'm gonna ring the bell a couple of times when we're breathing in you, you don't have to say it out loud you're allowed to say it out loud but some of you might want to do it silently it's the breathing in through the nose hold it there i am protected breathing out i am safe breathing in I am protected, breathing out, I am safe, so like I said, you're, you're, uh, you know, you can do this out loud, you can speak it out loud, you can also do it silently, whatever you feel comfortable with, let's do this a couple times. Breathing out, I am safe. Breathing in, I am protected, breathing out, I am safe. I am safe. Alright, that's just a small breathing exercise. It's something because I feel some of you are really like you know in in the car or something like that before you have to go in the store, and there's a lot of anxiety coming rushing in your body. Um, for some of you, this might resonate. Um, just remind yourself, you know, just calm down your energy. Try and calm down your energy. Breathing is very very important because you know what we're going through. It kind of sort of makes us afraid. There's a lot of fear frequency around breathing deeply in you know in public areas and stuff like that because you know it's it's something that enters us through our breaths basically through the oxygen and, and the nose and the mouth basically um so if you could find a place and i don't know you know your situation maybe you're being asked by the government to completely stay inside only go to the grocery store and that's it that's for some of us for others of us we're still allowed to sort of go outside but not to like extreme busy places or um you know gather with big groups of people stuff like that if it's possible for you to find a place outside and connect with nature and breathe freely without if and if nobody's around try and breathe freely because you you need to release a little bit of the fear frequency around the breath about breathing that's what i'm feeling very strongly for some of us so that's what something that i wanted to give you guys as well all right let's start the tarot what's the tarot coming what's the tarot to say for my Virgos? Ooh. <laughs> here we go my high priestess 
You know what to do, Virgo. You know what to do. Two of Wands, High Priestess. Some of you are really truly looking at a way like, okay, how can I make my business virtual? Like, how can I do what I do normally? Do it, you know, move it to what's the internet, move it to make sure that I can still reach the same amount of people. Some of you are really looking at the options this month. Great, great energy. You have options, Virgo. I hear that very strong. You got some options out there, okay? Try and be creative with that. Try and look at ways where you can, um, you know, do things in a different way, but because it's very fruitful. There is a way for you, and I see you got planning, really going over it, thinking about it, and then, then you're like, okay, you know what? I gotta come forward. Some of you are really having that uh, intuitive guidance. Like, I feel guided to, like, speak out, like, make you know towards a group of people or just share my message share my experience like maybe you're a nurse you want to share your experience do so please do so you know those are things that if you feel guided to do anything at this moment in time virgo unless it's you know your ego it's like i want to go out shopping and all of that <laughs> feel intuitively guided to do and share something or be you know a figure uh for multiple people things like that please do so this month is very fruitful for you but also for other people i do see some of you are a little bit crowded you know the place you're at staying it's like it's a little bit crowded so i get that you're quite overwhelmed um at times um let me see six of swords yes okay so Communication is very important. Try and find mutual, mutual ground. Make it work. You know, maybe you all have to share like a TV together. You want to watch this, other person want to watch that. You know, it's like trying to find ways. Okay, on Saturday it's for you, Sunday it's mine. Like maybe you're living together with people, for example, like roommates and stuff like that. Trying to make rules that work for the both of you so we can move into calmer waters because having that sense of stress inside the house at this moment in time is not going to be very beneficial for either of you right so i do see you guys coming together working on ways to um do this for others of you you might feel a little bit yes okay it's progressing let me see one sec for about knight of cups five of wands the devil Okay, so what a pick up on. Sorry, I had to tune in for a little bit because these cards, you know, they come through. How accurate is this actually, <laughs> to be honest? Right now, at this moment in time, this deck is so accurate. What I feel with this is that you have a certain opinion. Some of you have a message of love, message of love and light. Virgo. And you almost feel like... You know, when you have, for example, I'm just going to give you a visual, right? Like a really hot plate, hot plate, right? And you let it drip a drop of water on that plate. And it's like, shh, and it evaporates basically because it's too hot for the water to contain. So it's like, shh, and it's gone, right? I really do feel that some of you feel like the message of love, message, you know, you spread. It's like, it's not really being heard. It's like, what, what can I add to this like you know what is, what is my message gonna do what is my meditation what is my upload what is my photo gonna do like the stuff like that right um but you are being asked to share it anyway because you might have a bigger impact than you ex expect to virgo so that's what i'm what i'm feeling right now others of you have a hard time with a capricorn Feeling like you're so in the opposite energy right now, even though you guys are both earth signs. For some reason, I feel like some of you might have this divided energy between you and a Capricorn. Okay, Queen of Cups coming through as well. So the Knight of Cups with the Queen of Cups, meaning that things are progressing. I told you when you have something, feel guided to do something, Virgo. Do it because you started with a Knight, but here you already are the Queen. You're overcoming obstacles. You're overcoming a sense of conversation within yourself as well. It's like, okay, I've been here. I've been alert. I've been, you know, all of that. Um now i just want to get in my bubble and make sure that i 
do what is right for me at this moment in time i think it's very important because the things you receive out of that exactly the magician that's the key because there's so much power laying within you there's so much knowledge and wisdom laying within you that you can share so being in your own bubble at times in this moment is actually very beneficial for everybody you know we're all being asked to go within like find our own inner strengths find our own inner knowledge and wisdom and things to share and things we we, we can do you know if you feel like meditating and sending love and healing towards the world virgo but you feel like yeah what, what is that gonna do you know you might not do anything but you should because it all starts with the first person right it all starts with within you that's what i'm feeling okay i do see you really working on something and like i said something is really fruitful for all of you this month okay i see you progressing you're like hey if we do it like this maybe we can do it like that and that might work you know so i do see something beautiful growing and evolving in this um in 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 april for you okay then we have the king of cups yes okay so making it work the king and the queen of cups out here the knight of cup knight of swords sorry with the seven of wands the moon Six of Pentacles and the Lovers. Okay, some of you might feel disconnected from the partner you're with because you're not capable of really seeing each other face to face at this moment in time. That's possible. You almost feel like um, you don't want to feel this way about the person because, like, you know, you separated and you feel all kinds of emotions with it. It's almost like you want to turn the switch off. It's like, I don't want to love this person so much because now I'm separated. I feel all these feels. I don't want to feel all these feels. <laughs> that's not for all of you, I know, but that's for some of you. Um, I do see you worrying about your loved ones, and it's probably one or two people in particular at this moment in time. And you wish you, you can just put them in safely somewhere, but it's not possible. So maybe you're dealing with people who are actually, you know, are still being asked to go out and work. Maybe it's you. Maybe people are worried about you. But I do see that that's the energy. Like, you know, you want to take care, but you can't really change the situation and feel a little bit powerless at times. But I do see every time that you feel a little off, you, you feel, you know, you go a little bit more towards the fear frequency, which is so normal right now because it's very strong. It also is here to protect you at times, which is good, but it shouldn't paralyze you and make you feel, you know, uh, like you uncapable but every time you do you also come out of it stronger each and every time it's like no i'm not gonna do it okay i'm having a bad day that's fine but i'm not gonna have a bad week or a bad month or i don't have a bad life i just have a bad day or a bad week you know it's like that um because out of this unknown situation out of this separation that's also what i keep hearing separating separation beautiful things will grow Keep your eyes open for anybody who might need your help. I know you also want to do more than you actually possibly physically can. But you do have things to share that are also beneficial. You know? I mean, if it was for me, I would just be out there, out there getting all old, old people groceries and making sure, you know, everybody. And I would just be out there. Um, but I cannot right now physically. I just can't because, you know, I actually have a long condition which makes me quite high risk if i get sick i don't know what's going to happen and then i won't be able to do my readings <laughs> anymore you know it's like i have to think about the long haul the bigger picture um so yeah it's just i think all of us are dealing with that in one way you know shape or form it's like we want to do things but we cannot always do physically things but we can be out here either spreading the message helping people on a personal level i am calling a lot of people each and every day actually <laughs> just check up on them just have a little chit chat you know especially uh, all the people uh, who are alone at this time i just those are little things we can do we can make a change and um yeah we should you know it's important that we're also okay with that within ourselves because um let me see this is the energy you know with that it's transformation it's healing 
and you see actually the only person who's really out there is like the the, um, the child I feel that something beautiful is arising from this yeah death is a transformation yes it brings in a beautiful new chapter it does but the transition period and we are in transition period as we speak isn't always comfortable isn't always cute and nice and fluffy it's sometimes it's rough and sometimes it's intense and sometimes it comes with a lot of uncertainty but it's nothing to fear as well because we know it's going to come here it's going to bring in something you see the flower on the flag it's like we will rise we will bloom something beautiful is arising you see the sun in the background as well that's coming to shine light upon it again so I feel yeah I feel it's bringing you closer to an individual as well Virgo and it's it's also building something for you this month I do see peace coming into the household again I do see you feeling more at home in your own house or in the house that you're being asked to stay. You're making it home. You, you're trying to make the best out of the situation, which I love about you guys so much, Virgos. You always know how to make the best out of the situation. Work with what you get given, basically, you know. You're not always happy about it, but you do it, though. <laughs> okay, you got two more cards. Let me see. Page of Wands with the aid of wands okay that's the thing things are spreading quickly things are moving quickly but it's important to hold your eyes on what do you want to build from this how do you want to go moving forward what do you want to change it's really having your eyes on a goal see it's like okay i'm i might be dealt with the situation might have just been put in here i didn't choose to be here you know that's what i'm feeling like i didn't choose but what i do have is certain things i do have control over and you know it's important to me which i still can do and you're going to focus your energy towards that around her that's literally nothing but she has this tree and she can focus on that and she's ready that's what i'm seeing something a new beginning a new energy and your focus is redirecting towards something else very positive actually place of swords yes beginning stages and the tree of cups tree of cups is everywhere okay so it's in every single reading seven of cups in the reverse eight of swords and then the ace of swords yes okay what they're asking with this is that don't go to places because other people are saying okay no it's fine it's safe you know i have been inside for so long like don't just trust your intuition when it comes to that setting healthy boundaries making sure you know not only for yourself but for other people as well just be verbal about what you want and what you don't feel comfortable with okay so that's important like i know that at moments and times you might feel stagnant and stuck and it's frustrating it is frustrating it really truly is because half the time we feel very powerless what are we supposed to do labor on our backs and just surrender well yeah in a way we should maybe not in a way that we might think you know when we feel this energy of the eight of swords but in a way it's freeing us up the moment we stop trying to control the way it should go really reason to that but be verbal speak about it don't keep everything to yourself if you are fearful you know it's okay express it you don't need to keep everything to yourself Virgo if that's something that you that could might you know might help you at this time two of swords going over the options and a knight of cups yes what I feel with this definitely if you trust your intuitive guidance to set something you know to start something to grow something beginning 
satisfaction so you get a yes card you get a yes to you were if you are actually trying to do something online you're getting a really big yes you've been getting a yes since the moment i started these cards but yes okay that's that's your confirmation over here Virgo. all right i'm gonna get a what shall we do <laughs> I want to, yeah, sorry, I had to think really quickly to pick up this deck. Beautiful star seed oracle cards. Let me see what comes through for my Virgo. What comes through for my Virgo? What comes through for my Virgo for the month of April to May. April. Goes. All right, come on, give me a card. There we go. Damn, it's the because it's a new deck. Sometimes it takes time for them to really become an individual. <laughs> Cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Right? You're not breaking down. You're having a breakthrough. I'm going to read what the card says in the book as well because there's beautiful messages that come with this from the writer. Um, let's see? Yeah, 52. We got time. <laughs> right? Okay. Don't let the weight and density of the world squash your tender spirit. Instead, let it call even more of it home, into your body, at the center front of your life. It's through the extreme pressure of life's trials that diamonds are cultivated. This, sorry, it's when things are at their darkest that we cultivate proper fate and our light ignites. It's through the crumbling that we can allow our wounds to be alchemized. Let your pain, let your sorrow and losses make you, not break you. Let life alchemize your tragedies into gold. Be open to be cracked open, wide open. It's the difficult times that help us grow and leaps and bonds. And in ways we can only dream were possible. But first, they have to crack us open. Someone sometimes it hurts like hell it's nature's way whether you let it happen or not it's going to happen so surrender to the process it it's how the light gets in when you're cracked open a space is created for your soul to more fully enter when your soul cracks open, a space is created for the grace of the Holy Spirit to enter. Let your trials, your sorrows, your pains and your losses transform you into, a, into more and more of yourself. Stay open to the possibility that your tragedies, your, your losses, your sorrows and your hurts happen for you and not to you. Bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open, Virgo. Surrender to the alchemy of life. And then the question that comes with this card, which you can reflect on is, how can you let life crack you open? Wow, that was a powerful message. Virgo, very, very powerful message. I hope that that was helpful for you to look at things from a higher perspective. I'm not asking you to be all love and light all month through because there's a lot happening. So I don't want you to feel like you're failing if you cannot because on to be honest, I get affected as well. It's na it's na natural, it's human as well. But we do have a sense of control and try and find that and make give this meaning, give the situation meaning, Virgo. All right. I love you so much and I know you get uncomfortable with that. Say that. <laughs> But I love you, Virgo. I cannot help it. You know, you guys are a part of me because you're my Virgo moon, okay? You guys just guide me through my emotional life, okay? <laughs> I love you, Virgos. Please stay safe and feel free to use my email to share your... If you want to share anything and you feel like you cannot talk to nobody or you want to talk to somebody you don't personally know, 
feel free to email me feel free to talk to each other or just let leave a message in the comment section i'll be back on my um, channel soon if you want to join me uh, when it comes to like my live sessions feel free to like hit the notification bell you know i don't know if you already subscribed if you are not subscribed then hit the notification because i go live more often especially this this month so you're more than welcome to uh like join me on the live stream okay and get a personal card or a personal reading i love you virgo and i'll see you soon bye